The document properties contains information that helps identify or describe the file. And every presentation has it. Just come up here, click on the File tab, go backstage. Info selected by default, just come over here and there's your properties. Like the size of the file, number of slides, any hidden slides, the title, tags. You can change any of these. And the tags are alternate keywords that you want to be able to search this file for. So for example, if in the file I don't have the keyword spiffy, but I want this file to be found by that keyword, then type in the alternate keyword in the tags here. And then you can use the delimiter comma, space, and type in additional keywords, fancy, cool, hit enter, there you go. So when I do searches, and even though these tags or keywords are not in the actual presentation, because I don't want those to be showing up in the presentation for maybe one reason or another, it'll find this file and pull it up if I search for spiffy, fancy, or cool. And then how you want to categorize it, last modified, last printed, the author, ooh, that's me. Now, how did it know the author? Well, as you recall in my earlier training video, you want to set up the username and initials. So when you author this, it pulls your name in there. Or when you insert comments, it adds your initials. And then you can come down here and click on Show All Properties. And it expands and shows us a bit more. And then we can scroll back up and click on the Properties drop-down arrow to Advanced Properties to see more. Let's go to the general tab and you get pretty much the same information here like the size and but you get it in bytes, the actual breakdown of it, location, when it was created, modified, the summary, titles, subject, okay, my website, great. The author, manager, things you want to keep track of but not in the actual presentation itself, but just backstage to identify this. And then statistics, number of slides, paragraphs, words, ooh, that gets pretty detailed there. Total editing time, 10 minutes. Oh, that's not too bad for four slides. Actually, it's quite a long time for me. In any case, let's go to contents, fonts used, themes, slide titles, cool, custom. Hey, you can say it was checked. Select it. Come down here. Well, the type, let's just keep it text so I can type in who it was checked by. Me, click add. There you go. So some backstage stuff and the properties when it was checked, date completed. If I want to go ahead and type it in, or if I want to do something like click on the drop down arrow, change the field type down below to an actual date, and then type it in. Or the other options is enter a number or do yes, no. So yes, it was checked or checked by. In any case, let's see what else we got. You can scroll down who the editor was, forward, language, mail stop. Okay, you got quite a few options there. So you can go ahead and keep track of all this backstage here. And then once you click okie dokie, it keeps it there until you come back and you select it and delete it and then click OK. Now you get the properties there, but you also get the properties. Let's click back and close out of here and save our work. By actually hovering over the file, let me click off and hover over it again, you get a pop-up and it gives you a synopsis of the properties like the type, the author, the title, subject. You can also right-click and get more and go down the shortcut menu to Properties click and drag it up and doesn't that look familiar of course it does the location the size when it was created modified okay security is a bit more detailed than what we care to cover in this training video details there we go we've got our tag something spiffy fancy cool and you can add more here yes you can awesome and then I use the delimiter comma but in here they've got semicolon so I'll use semicolon and then it pops open gives me another option to add another tag and you can see a little shortcut of others that have been used. Let me just do tinsel. And then let's go ahead and categories. Just hover over it, opens it up, then type in the category. Change the comments here from our website and author if you want to add or change. Hover. And if it gives you a little box to click in, click in it. And in this case, type in a version number. In any case, there we go. And then previous versions, if we have one, let's go ahead and apply it. Click okie dokie. And Three different ways to check out the properties, and at least two of the three you can make changes therein. Thanks for watching. Hey, as a quick reminder, if you like my video, please give it a thumbs up. You can also click on me and subscribe to my channel to get notified of the latest videos. And for great specials on my products, please see the description below this video.